going to refresh my kitchen for spring and the new season that is coming. There are a lot of things that are working great in our kitchen and there's a few areas in some of my cabinets that I just feel could be organized in a better way. So I'm gonna really put my thinking cap on and look and see where I can either declutter a few items or just move things around, reorganize them in a way that will work better for our family. About nine months ago, we refreshed this kitchen by changing a few things around. And since then, we've done quite a few little improvements. So my husband made a pull-out trash bin in one area. He converted a lower um, cupboard to a drawer. And then he also added a spice rack for us. So these few little projects that he did really changed the way our kitchen is functioning to make it way better. And then because of that, we moved our trash out of here and I already had these two bins that I was using somewhere else. And then when we made the pull-out trash, I decided to add the shelves back in and now these fit perfect in these areas. When the seasons change, I like to go through my home and refresh everything, especially when we're going into spring. And I noticed a few areas in my kitchen cupboards that were looking a little crowded and we had some items that didn't really make a lot of sense in our everyday use areas. So I just gathered those items from the cupboards. I went and looked through each one before I decided what I was going to do with everything pulled out those items that I didn't think we needed in the cupboards that we use every single morning, day and night, and I gathered them into one area before I decided how I wanted to organize everything. I was also looking to see if there were items that I didn't need anymore, some things that could possibly be decluttered, and so that is what you're seeing here. And I wanted to make sure that I looked through everything before I made my decision because sometimes you can see a space that you could use that you might not have thought about. So I just went through that cupboard where we keep all of our food and I found a lot of space at the bottom which was the perfect place to stash all these water bottles that we only use if we're gonna go out on a trip hiking or on vacation or something like that. There are things that we do wanna keep but we don't need to have in the cupboards that we use every single day. Since I moved some bowls out of this lower cupboard over here, I decided to just look through, wipe it out, and make sure everything was in a good spot down here. I'm actually really happy with the way our kitchen functions. There were just a few things that I was noticing that we had, for instance, the ice cream maker up here in the corner. And while we do use it, and I'm happy we have it, I really like it, I don't use it enough to keep it out on the shelf, so I just thought I'm going to put it down there. Then we have things like this, masks that I'm going to keep because you never know, but there's no need to have it in here anymore. Um, this was a convenience thing we would grab one as we walked out the door, but now I think we can put it up away with like all of our uh, medications. I might rearrange this a little bit, but overall it's all about function in our kitchen and since having Grant come and stay home now, there are things that we aren't using that we were before. So he used to take water bottles with him every day to work, and he used to take a coffee, little mug to go mug every day to work. So we're not using those things anymore, so there's no need to have them in our cupboards that are just cluttering it up, but we don't wanna get rid of them because we may go on a trip and wanna take a cup of coffee with us. So I'm just rearranging things and organizing where we have the things we use every day, front and center, and those things that we aren't gonna be using as often put away down below where it's less convenient to get to. I've had people question these shelves and you know how dusty they get, and it just looks like a big job to dust these shelves, but let me show you. So I haven't dusted these shelves in probably five months or something crazy, and I just wiped it right now, and there is really no dust. It's the weirdest thing. I'm not saying that that's how it would be in other people's homes, but there just isn't dust in this area. I don't get why, because there's dust in our house, but I don't know. Anyway, and we use these constantly, so there, this won't 
really collect dust where I mean we're it won't collect any more dust than it would in a cabinet because we use these all the time um, so yeah but I do wipe it down once in a while I also always get questions about this frame it's an aura frame and how people can get it so I'll just link all that information down below in case you're interested but I love this frame because I can upload pictures from my phone straight to the frame and my mom can upload pictures from her phone to our frame so then all of a sudden we're seeing all these really fun moments and yeah with not a lot of effort and it's right there recently emmett's been helping me put the dishes away which i love and it just makes it a little bit interesting when i go to look for things because sometimes things aren't put in the exact right order but i am very thankful for the help and i will never complain about that but I've found two things that I am going to declutter. So this pan is just really, really well-worn and we're not using it very often anymore. Some of you might remember, my mom and I actually got this from a garage sale. I think it was an estate sale. And we cleaned it up and I was really excited to get it. It was super affordable and it's um, Revere wear. And I want pots like this, but the problem is it's misshapen on the bottom. And so when we're cooking something or boiling something, it's really unsteady. And to me, that is just not a chance I'm willing to take when it comes to having kids running through the kitchen and all that. And also we haven't used it very often. I guess I'm pretty happy with all the pots I have. So it was worth a try, but when things don't work for me, I try to get rid of them right away. We highly simplified this area because this is where we were keeping a lot of our spices and then Grant put this in for me well for all of us but I asked for it so he put this in and this is where we keep the spices we use every day when we're cooking and we can only fit so much so we still have a few spices up here but I just want to reorganize this area a little bit. We had thought about adding a shelf up here in this spice and baking cupboard, but we decided just to keep the risers we already had because eventually we do want to redo this kitchen and we don't want to waste money. Then I saw this bottle rack that I had been using to dry all various different things and I know we weren't using it very often anymore, so I'm going to be decluttering that as well. So I'm just walking around and looking for items that I am noticing we don't use as much and things that we can live without that are adding more clutter to our home. And like I said before, I like to do that seasonally, every season if possible, but when spring comes around, I just get inspired for the warmer weather that's going to be coming and it just makes me want to have our home feel light and bright and not have a ton of stuff in our house and it's going to rain even though it's spring we get a lot of rain here in california in spring especially lately so we're, i'm just covering the furniture and getting ready for that decided to get a new rug for in front of my sink. This just matched the colors in our kitchen so well. It has the mint and the yellow, which is our vintage kitchen. And so I thought, let's lean into it. It also is lemon pattern, so it can't be any more perfect. If you're interested, I'll link it down below in case I get a question, I'll have it in the description box. But I tried the anti-fatigue mat that so many of you suggested and I liked it but the, there were two problems for one the color I picked out was the exact color of our floor which was not good for people walking through here also we were tripping over it all the time the kids people would come over and trip over it I was even tripping over it so to me it just wasn't worth like the safety hazard of that whole thing as you can see with the colors of the rug and everything else in this kitchen, lately I'm leaning more into working with what we have. So our kitchen has the mint and yellow and I feel why not lean into that quirky vintage vibe more and more. And I'm doing that with pretty much everything in my house and my life, just leaning more into what we really love and trying to avoid 
what could be trendy. You know, I, I do like trends, but I also just feel why not work with what you already have in your home. So thank goodness we covered the furniture out here because it started to rain just like it was forecasted to which inspired me to make some candied pecans. I had the pecans sitting there for a while and I have this recipe on my blog, shannontorrens.com. I will link this recipe down below because it is delicious. And I like to fool myself into thinking that it's a little bit healthy because it's nuts, but really I'm just kidding myself because it's covered in sugar and it's the most delicious thing ever, even though it may not be on the health side. As I'm refreshing our kitchen, we have everyone here. So I'm just working around everyone. You're going to see Levi come scootering through. All the kids are home. My mom is over. So of course the kitchen is not going to look picture perfect as everything is happening, but I tell myself the refreshing is still getting done. The projects are still happening, even though we are using the kitchen as it's all going down. And now I'm doing a task that I tend to put off more than it should be, and it's very easy to do. We're replacing the filters on our reverse osmosis water system, and we're meant to do this once a year. And it's been more than a year, so we're doing it now. Now, if you watched my last refresh the kitchen video, I can link it down below because I did a lot of projects, but we added a screen to this door here and it quickly started to fall apart, which had nothing to do with us using it or the way we installed it. It was just a really cruddy screen, I guess. So Grant took it down, took it back to Home Depot, told them that it was junk, and we decided to get this screen. Instead, we have this same screen on our front door that we installed, and it works great, so we put it on this door as well. So don't you love when you have to do projects twice because the thing that you bought is just not a quality product? Who would have known? But he's now putting this screen on, and so far it's been working great, and he got it done just in time for the rain. She's making muffins. <laughs> <laughs> the boys wanted muffins, so I'm making some blueberry muffins. Not scratch. <laughs> Now this isn't really a kitchen project, but when I look out my kitchen window, this is what I look at. One of our hop seed bushes died. You can see it right there, it's dead. So we decided to finally do something about that. I've had to make an executive decision. We are going to get rid of this pot with the lemon tree in it and the hop seed tree next to it. This hop seed bush actually is pretty dead it's about half dead and it just looks terrible bunch of sticks and then this is a lemon tree that I planted over five years ago from a lemon seed into this pot and it's actually cracked through the pot and we're afraid it's going to plant itself there and we don't want to have a lemon tree here so that is all finally going the root actually did go through the pot and was in the ground so that's why it was hard to move this and I had to get a shovel and break the root and then dig that out once we were able to move this tree away from this area. I have a full video on how we transformed our backyard. I will link it down below, but we didn't really work on this side area very much. We had put these hop seed bushes in when we first moved here, done a few things, but we do have it on our list to do this area and just finish it up. Grant has this uh, garden box here and we had put flowers in there last year because we weren't sure what we wanted to do. And this year he is going to pull all that out and we are going to be having some food growing in there, herbs and things like that. And then we will focus on finishing this. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you like all of this type of content because we're going to be adding a lot more DIY and home updates that we're going to be working on this year. We got rid of the lemon tree that I grew from a seed, which I'm a little bit sad about, but Grant is over the moon happy about because he's always hated that. 
then we got rid of the almost dead hop seed bush and because I look right out my kitchen window right here and this is what I see I want to get a really big pot there where I can put geraniums and some flowers around there and maybe even something like trellising up the back just to see something pretty when I'm doing the dishes in the kitchen as you can see here we have the kitchen window and the direct sight line is that we had done flowers in here, so we're gonna take these geraniums that are doing really well and these petunias that came back from last year and they're about to flower. So hopefully we can transplant those into the box or bin, whatever we get and get something big right there. My mom and I ran out to Home Depot and we found this container. So we're just drilling holes in it. So there's a way for the water to escape and not kill the root. Tell me, do you like my hat? <laughs> here it's in a half shell. When we redid our backyard, a lot of the dirt had to go somewhere, so we stuck it in the front yard because eventually we're going to be working in the front yard and there's a lot of holes in there. But now we're taking some of the dirt from there to use in the pots back here that we're planting. So it's a mix of the soil that is from our ground and some potting soil as well. And then I'm taking the geraniums out of here and I'm gonna plant them in here and I'm also going to add the petunias. This turned out so pretty. I'm so happy that we were able to reuse the flowers that we already had. Then Grant is going to take this box and do a quick compost pile, a hot compost pile that will hopefully break down really quickly. And we're going to be able to use that compost in all of our garden beds and our flower beds around the house here in the backyard. And then that is when he will plant his food that he wants to plant in here. Last thing he told me was he wanted to do a salsa garden in here. So I'm really excited about that and I will share everything with you in case you are interested in how that turns out. My mom and I are taking a gardening class every Sunday for fun and we're starting our garden. So that will be a video coming very soon. But we have all of these uh, seeds and something we might do later today is go through these and figure out what we're going to plant where in the garden beds. But for now, I'm just going to put them all in this bowl so they can be corralled on my counter here. This is something fun that we made in our garden class, which is just a piece of paper towel and you tack down the seeds that are really tiny. So we did carrots and then you plant this in the ground and they sprout through this and then the paper towel just becomes part of the compost. So we're excited to plant all these things and that video will be coming very soon and I'm just really excited to get out and work in the garden and we're going to be redoing our front yard and adding a garden bed there too. So, so many exciting things for spring. Another way I like to refresh our kitchen is to touch up the paint. So we painted our cabinets quite a while ago and of course over time the paint tends to chip off or we have marks on there. So one really quick easy way to make our kitchen look great again is to touch up the paint. Then I like to wipe out and clean our oven. I definitely don't do this often enough, but I thought because it's spring, I'm gonna dig a little deeper when it comes to cleaning. And it does make the house smell a lot fresher because of course when we're cooking, we don't have that burning smell from little crumbs that have fallen down to the bottom of the oven. So our oven was relatively clean, but I just wanted to give it a deeper scrub than I normally do. I recently purchased this new mop system. It was recommended by quite a few people that I follow online. And then one of my friends bought it, so I was able to ask her what she thought. She said that it worked great. I do like it. This is the first time I'm using it. My only uh, thing that I didn't really love was that it seemed to leave quite a bit of water behind. I'm not sure if I just didn't wring it out enough, but you can see I'm using my uh, junk towels just to dry off the floor a little bit better. 
And now it's on to cleaning off the top of our refrigerator. This is something, again, I don't do very often. I should do it more, but my husband stores his basket of things up here because he's really tall and this is the best place for him to have his own little space. And I don't mind seeing a pretty basket up there along with our plant. We also don't have cupboards or anything above our fridge, which means it's kind of weird looking when there's just nothing up there. But I did pull it all down. I am cleaning my plant. I have quite a few blog posts on plants. So if you're interested in any more information about that, I will link that below. And I'm just adding some nutrients to it and cleaning it up, putting it back up here. And then as far as my husband's basket went, we decided to switch all his stuff into this larger one with the handle. I think it just looks better and hopefully it will help to keep everything corralled. I'm adding some videos here on the screen, so if you would like to continue watching, just click those videos. If you're new, you can hit the subscribe button to join my community. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.